What's up, guys? Welcome to the Friday night, Saturday morning edition of uh, Do More Life live stream. And our topic today is, if you could go back in the past and change anything, would you? <clears throat> that's, a good, uh, that's a good call to action. And it's also a good question. Now, while we know we, we can't actually do it, um, it's, it's a good question to be asked for sure. Uh, good morning, Robert and Cody and everybody else prepped for it. Hey, man, good to see you. I wanted to just make quick introductions to everybody, and then I'm going to talk for a long time. And uh, Well, not for a long time, because I want to get in uh, to what you guys think about this. This was inspired by um, uh, 10 Minutes yesterday when he uh, proposed the question of uh, what if you had a time machine, and uh, I didn't want to put that in the title because I think uh, YouTube looks down on that. They look at it as like a joker or whatever. Um, so I thought I would talk about something real, something meaningful. And uh, hopefully, uh, what I say to you guys will be, uh, I have actual numbers here and statistics um, that will uh, <laughs> probably uh, more people will understand than not. And I think that uh, a lot of people um, would have done things different. And I'm going to go over some of those numbers as soon as we get a few more people in the house. Derek C., what's up? Uh, good morning or good evening to you wherever you are. Roger, good to see you, bud. John, what's up? Uh, glad you're here. And I think that uh, we're going to go ahead and just jump right into it. Steve, uh, Steve Sandman says hello from Boston. Hello to you, sir. I uh, hope everything's doing well over there. So I'm going to get started here. I went to a website called thefox1049.com uh, and got a few numbers from there. And then I got a few numbers from um, some old polling that I did and uh, some, some newer polling that I had done. Because I, this is a subject that has always fascinated me. Like, what if I had, uh, you know, the ability to go back and change things? What would I change? And I've written down some of those things. <clears throat> um. So, a group of people were asked uh, these questions, and, or that, that question, if you could go back and change anything, uh, what would it be? For me personally, um, I would have started saving money as a child. That would have been, like, I would have made more, I, I was one of those kids that would mow a yard for a little bit of money or make a lemonade stand for a little bit of money, but... Um, I would have started saving that money as a child. Um, I would have saved that money and put put it back in some kind of a savings account that had a uh, high return interest or something like that. Um, I would have done something in that neighborhood. Hey, Mario and B, good to see you. Um, I would uh, have went back back to my freshman year of high school and took high school much more seriously than I did. I would have gone back and uh, actually made good, well, better grades than I made. I didn't make bad grades, but I would have done a lot better. Um, and I would have taken, there was a study abroad trip offered uh, to us in high school, and uh, I would have taken that study abroad trip for sure. Uh, yeah, but we're not talking about that, Mario. Sorry. Um, uh, Barbara Jones says somebody told me this might be a good place to watch the live stream. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Bentley, good morning. Uh, and I would have I would have went straight to college out of high school and stayed away from the party life that I wound up going into um, out of high school. Uh, because it really changed, uh, you know, I, as most of you know, I wasted my twenties on just partying and, uh, being an idiot. So, um, I would definitely go back and, and change that. And, um, in college, I would have taken classes that mattered, like, uh, taking classes that, um, had to do with, um, 
you know, how to live life, stuff on how to manage money, stuff on uh, how to become an entrepreneur. Uh, things like that would have been stuff that I would have changed myself personally. And there's a whole bunch of other things I would have changed. But uh, yeah, I would have bought a lot of different stock. Uh, ball around the horse said I would have bought Amazon stock for sure. Uh, don't feel for your past, says Bentley. This is not about looking at regrets. This is about, uh, or this is not about dwelling on regrets. I just want to give you, those were just mine. I'd, I'd love to hear yours or whatever you want to talk about. But um, the important thing is, so over, as I said, I did some polling and then I went to a couple websites to get their numbers as well. And this is what the most common answers uh, people gave. Uh, for whether they would go back and change something in their past. 53% of people said something that they would, uh, they would change something about their past. 50, so more than half the people that were asked. Now, uh, not, this is of those 53 people that were asked. 98% said they would travel more. 98% said they would travel more. So when you guys think about I talk about how much fun it is to travel and that kind of thing. That should give you a realistic feel on um, how important traveling could actually be. Cody says, I would want to change my children, but I would have gotten my degree, then did a 20 year career in the Navy. Uh, I'd retired at 42 completely said, I would, and that's where I was going to go. I would have went to the military. And stayed in for 20 years doing something. I don't know what I would have done, um, but I would have done that and retired. Uh, Cody says, wouldn't want to change children. Wouldn't want to change children. <laughs> I got you. Uh, hey, Jim. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, Jim says, five, four, five. Five, four, five? I thought it was five, five, five. Five, four, five. I don't know. Jim's, Jim's. Jim is Jim. He does what he does. So out of the 53% that said they would change something, 98% um, said they would travel more. Now, these numbers I'm getting ready to read to you are off of a different uh, observation that I made. Um, or I'll let you guys read comments for the time being because I'm going to keep going with the topic. Then I'll come back and catch them. Um, Tim said, I wouldn't have had that first drink. Yeah, uh, I understand that completely. Tim, probably neither would I. And I say probably because uh, sometimes, sometimes I don't know if my past hurt me or made me stronger. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm not sure. Bentley says, I would have gone to flight school, but I'm in my 40s. Who knows? Hey, you still got time, man. Prep for it says, looking back, I would not have been so dang shy. <laughs> or so darn shy. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, good morning, Stuck. Uh, good to see you, man. Thanks for coming in. Cody says, you go in a much higher rank by having your degree before notary. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that's true. I believe that's the difference between, I, I don't know. I don't know that much about the military. So, uh, good morning, Mike. What's up, buddy? Uh, good to see you. Thank you for all your help this week with the stream yards, by the way. Um, okay. So a separate poll, um, people were asked, um, would they change something? Uh, and these are, these were people that were, that had already asked, uh, or already knew that they wanted to change something. So that's how this poll was conducted. Uh, Jim says, if you want to know what five, four, five means, I will let you know when we hit 35 people in the house. We're at 33. So go to, uh, everybody share the live stream right now. <laughs> share, just hit share the live stream to your Facebook pages and people will come in. We're at 34. <laughs> Maybe we'll get to 35. Um, Cody says, I've been researching for my daughter lately on Navy. Do that, man. That'd be a good, be a very good thing. You give a thumbs up if you don't mind guys. And the, uh, those of you that are in the chat, uh, thumbs up. There's 35, Jim. Uh, thumbs up. Makes me feel warm and fuzzy. Okay. Uh, so of those people that were set down, this is an entirely different subset of people. 
only 18% of them said they would change nothing. Okay. Um, again, the same number came out. 98 people said that they would change, um, that, that they would travel more. 98% of people said they would travel more. Uh, 99%, 99% said they would spend less time trying to make more money than they need. And by the way, all these people, uh, all these, uh, these numbers that I'm throwing out here are people that are either very, very old or in a return, uh, like a nursing home or a care center or something like that. So they've lived their life and that's, that's what they're talking about. Um, 71% said they would have started their own business. Um, and then oh wow, we got PayPal money coming in already, and you guys didn't even throw up the PayPal link yet. Um, let's see, I don't know who this is, so I'll hide their name, but they sent a $15 PayPal. Um, thank you so very much. Um, I'm not sure who you are, but thank you uh, very much. Big, big, big start to the day. Big start to the day. I greatly appreciate it. Um, this is not a PayPal in case it dings. Um, Ross says he would, he would join the Air Force. Tim says Tim was a Navy veteran. Uh, Jim says, hey, guys, go hit that thumbs up button. Uh, good morning. Says thank you for your service, Ross, and the other veterans in the chat. Uh, yeah. So you guys are talking about uh, what you would have done different. But listen to this number. This is very important. So I said seventy-one percent said they would start their own business. One hundred percent of the people that were asked this question, one hundred percent said they would have worked less hours because. Uh, and 99% said they would have spent less time trying to make more money than they need. 99% of people. So I guess that kind of, you know, it gets into the lane of what are we doing here? Like, uh, what's our purpose? What's our main goal? Um, you know, what, what would we have done? That's why I preach on doing what you can now versus um, trying to be that big saved, uh, trying to be that person that saves all your money um, all the time. You got to be able to spend a little bit of it at some point in time. In my opinion, you, you got to be able to spend some money in order to have some fun, because if you spend your whole life saving money, you can't take it with you. I mean, you, you just can't. So um, I think. I think it's good. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good idea to um, not worry about money as much and do what you can with what you have. Live within your means, of course. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I think traveling, like traveling to Thailand over here, uh, travel to the Philippines. Um, I'm definitely going to be traveling more in Southeast Asia. And those, those things are stuff that I can do while I'm still alive and have time. Um let me catch a couple. I know Ross was in the Marines. Uh, he said he wishes he would have went to the Air Force. Um, sorry, my Siri just clicked on for some reason. That was weird. Um, uh, Tim said something about... Okay, we got another PayPal. And Ross says traveling is the best education. It should be part of every college graduation requirement. I could not agree more. I could not agree more. I'll, ca I'll come back and catch you guys' comments in just a second, but I had another PayPal that came in that I'm looking for that hadn't popped up yet. Okay, as soon as that pops up, I'll read it. Um, let me go back up to... Tim says, if I had joined the Air Force, I might have done 20. Yeah, done, done 20 years there and then retire. Gumarai says, thank you for your service, Ross, and the other veterans in chat. Cody says, you get 30 days leave time a year besides monthly shore leave, which is a few days a month. I would have used that 
time to travel places like Thailand, Hawaii, etc. Absolutely, everybody would have would have loved to have traveled around the world, especially on uh, on a military dime, right? Um, go more high. No, you don't. You don't wish you'd travel less. Uh, uh, Tim says. But, I mean, you can always look back and say to yourself, I should have or could have. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. This is not about, like, this is about calling attention to what the people say um, that are at the at the end of their life. Uh, so that those of us that are still ambulatory, and that's I hope I said that right, and um, have the ability to do things so that we can learn from them just like we learn from each other uh, in these kind of chats. Um, Robert says he wishes he'd travel more. Jim said the explanation is headed your way, JC. Expl oh, it must be the 545 explanation, I think. Okay, so Jim sent $5. $5 PayPal. Thank you very much, Jim. And this is what he said. Oh, he's got a challenge. He says, okay, let's get the challenge started early tonight, and I want to keep it going till the end of the live stream. Here is $5. Every time five people matches my five, I will throw another five. I'm doing uh, less money because times is hard for everybody right now, but... Uh, Jeremy, I know the channel could use the contributions. Let's go ahead and clear up any questions now. If someone contributes 25, that's fine. Or that's that's the same as four people contributing uh, five for five. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. I really appreciate it. Uh, really, really, really appreciate it, uh, Jim. So thank you very much, sir. And hopefully um, some people will bite on that. I hope. I don't know if um, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not 100 sure. But we'll see. We'll definitely see. Um, sorry, guys. I'm trying to fix my phone at the moment. Okay. All right. So, ball around the world says it's difficult to balance uh, live for today or put in work and save for the future. It really is. That is an excellent point, uh, ball. That's an excellent, excellent point. Um, it's very difficult to buy uh, that balancing act and I'm learning how to do it um, mainly because you know the pay over here in Thailand is just not especially if you're a school teacher just not that good unless you've got like a master's in education already and you come over and teach at the international school then you might make some real money um, but as a regular school teacher with a bachelor's degree, it's just, you know, the money's not that great. And, uh, frankly, it's, it is what it is. So not a lot I can do about that, unfortunately, but, um, I would spend more money traveling. Like I would have went ahead when I had the chance and bought that new camera. Um, but if I would have bought that new camera, then right now I would have really been in some financial digs. So, uh, maybe, it was the right thing not to buy that camera. I'm not sure. Um, David W. says, I can't wait to travel more. Me either. I'm, I'm so excited to travel more. Absolutely. Um, okay. Look at that. Big guy stepping up already. Um, and I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate that. Uh, let me see if it comes in here. I love you guys, man. I really do. Uh, most ch most channels don't get this kind of stuff. Roger has hit 25 there, Jim. So I'm sure your five will come back in uh, in just a matter of time. And we will see what happens. See what happens. Okay. Mm and i'll go back to my email and we'll see what happens i appreciate the contributions guys i really truly appreciate them all right uh stuck says i would save for yep hang on i got another paper coming in here that's from jim uh <laughs> there's jim's there's jim's uh five dollar match 
So he's matching away, guys. Um, thank you, Jim. Appreciate that very much. Working so far. So far, so good. Um, stuck in Florida says, I would save for six to nine months and then travel until broke and then repeat for 20 years. That is something else I thought about doing is going to work and getting a good high-paying job. And as I get a high-paying job, um, I think I would save a ton of that money, put some of it back in like um, maybe a savings bond, a treasury bond, or just invest in a Vanguard stock, um, something like that. And that way I would have money rolling, um, but I wouldn't necessarily have to uh you know rely on it i would just have it so it would be there and then i would take a large um uh stack of cash and just travel just travel and worry about working when i got back um so that's what i would do but i agree uh stuck that's a really good point man roger says i had no idea there were places like thailand where you can travel so cheap definitely would travel more and a lot of people don't know about that. You know, you look at cheap places, and Thailand's fairly cheap. The Philippines is cheaper. Um, Cambodia, is, uh, from what I understand, is about the same as Thailand, but like Laos and Myanmar, I think those are, uh, yep, there comes another paper. I love it. You guys are hitting it on the head. And I won't, uh, I won't show the name because this looks like a business. Um, but there is another $10 PayPal. So there's 10 of 25. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Whoever sent that, I genuinely appreciate it. Genuinely appreciate it. Um, Ross says no better way to learn about a foreign country's history is to visit it. Yeah, I agree, Ross. Um, did you notice you automatically had a wrench this morning? When you popped on the channel, that's so weird. Like that, it, uh, it's so weird because for the whole time I've been doing it, maybe it's because I did this kind of live stream instead of stream here. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, JD says currently retired Navy, still working. Seriously thinking of calling it quits. What do you guys think? Hey man, if if you have if you have enough money to call it quits and travel and uh, live your life, bro. Please do it. Uh, like my dad. My dad's a, a healthy um, uh, in his early 60s, really healthy. And his his dream was to pull a fifth wheel camper behind his F-350 dually truck and uh, um, travel the United States. And that's exactly what he's doing. So, And he just retired a few months ago. Um, I encourage you to do whatever you, whatever you wanted to do in your life do it uh roger says retire while you're still healthy i couldn't agree with that more health plays a big benefit and when to retire jd says yeah i feel like that's the right move yep 100 mm -hmm. i agree tim says i did travel on the military dime saw a lot of europe but at a cost like no kids not that i wanted any <laughs> understand that Cody says, my ex-brother-in-law and Marines live on a base near Okinawa, uh, some island. Described his free time as the best and most eye-opening time in his life. That's awesome. Jim says, by the way, no limit. Uh, every time my challenge is met, I will send another. That's awesome. That's awesome. Has anybody put up the PayPal link yet? Uh, just so people know how to get to it in case they want to contribute? I, I hadn't seen that. Um... Cody says another guy we hired out of Navy would go on and on about his three day uh, shore leaves every time, everywhere in the world. It stuck with me. Well, time to get unstuck, brother. Uh, maybe you can find a way out too. Cody says my explanation to my daughter is just go. It'll be hard, but both, it'll be hard for us both. Because we are close, but if you don't get out of here while you can, you will be stuck here forever. And that's a, I, I've heard that a lot. You make an excellent point, Cody. Excellent point. Uh, Ross says, in my early 30s, I did that. Traveled six months, worked six months. That's a that's a good way to go. Uh, Jim says, all right, way to go. Uh, get this town started. Come on, guys, make me pay 
let's promote this channel tonight. It's going to be a great night for Do More Life. I like your attitude, Jim. Love your attitude. Stuck says, I didn't plan on living past the age of 40. Oops. <laughs> well, yeah, oops. I guess that's, just, that, that's the right word. Uh, Cody says, that's another thing. In the 90s, you couldn't really learn about Thailand like we can now. That's true. That's true. There was no internet and that kind of thing. But uh, as the emergence of uh, travel started to become uh, more mainstream, I think that uh, it really helped bolster, um, you know, the people to come and travel. But um, I, I think it, I, and I think that's why people say now that they they really would uh, have traveled more is because they have people that um, go over and uh, come back and tell them about the travels, and they're maybe a little bit envious of it. Um, Cody says that's another. Th oh, yeah, I read that. Ross says Cody, Thailand in the 90s and early 2000s is nothing like it is today. It was even less expensive. That's the even better 45 baht to the dollar. That see, that would have been awesome because, um, in the Philippines, it's about 50 pesos to the dollar. So, if you come to Thailand, live 45 baht to the dollar, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. Um, Stuck says, Cody in Texas, I wish I had the internet available to me in the 80s and early 90s. Uh, went to many places blind. That I can understand that too, Stuck. And that probably hindered a lot of people. Um, that probably hindered a lot of people from not traveling is because they simply didn't know, you know. Uh, they, they didn't know what was, um, what was available to them. Um, and that's what, that's what happened. Um, but uh, Jim says, good point, Jeremy. By the way, guys, let's make sure we tried to send it PayPal if at all possible because it only holds 3% versus the 30% that's available for Super Chat, uh, and it becomes available immediately. That's true. That's very, very true. Thank you for throwing that in, Jim. Um, but if somebody, you know, doesn't see the PayPal link and want a uh, Super Chat, that's fine, too. I'm certainly not going to... Uh, be uh, discretionary towards any of it. Um, yes, go more hike, and you can actually sponsor content too, guys, uh, through that link. But that's a whole nother thing. So, time for you guys to start writing. I want to hear. I want to hear what hike has to say, and I want to hear what. Um, yeah, let's hear what hike has to say. I want to hear him say he would have done something different. I can tell you one thing for sure. The military is something I would have probably went into simply because you can do 20 years and retire and get out of it. Um, I would have definitely gone to the Air Force for sure. Um, did I miss something that caused the timeout? Um, I'm not sure stuck. I don't know what's I don't know what's going on. Cody says that's all I got. LOL. <laughs> well, that's good then. You don't have a long list of uh, of quote unquote regrets. You know, um, that's a big thing. Uh, it, that probably means you've lived a pretty happy life, Cody. So that that's good. That's good, and that's what it's all about. Gilmore Heights says there was there once was a lady from Nantucket. Oh. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. You want to talk about relationships uh, in the past that we wish we would have done something differently? I'll talk to you about mine. Jim says, Jeremy, check my wrench for some reason. It's saying I'm putting JD in timeout. It's not me. Okay. Um. Just go to JD and take him out of timeout, uh, Jim. I don't know why. I, there's nothing. I'm looking. There's nothing that, out of the ordinary. JD, uh, we're not putting you in timeout, man. I don't know what. Uh, uh, I don't know why the 300 second thing was uh, was done, but I'm trying to see if I can undo it. I don't think I can. Uh, Let's 
Well, this mess is just a, uh, let me see if I can. Oh, I can't change it. But the first message just said, uh, appreciate it, bros. And then I don't know why he went in timeout for 300 seconds. So I'm not sure, guys. We'll just have to keep an eye on that. Uh, but, J.D., know, know that nobody is putting you in timeout for any reason. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Jim says, I'm sorry, J.D., I'm not sure what's going on. Cody says, I say Navy because I love the ocean. Hey, man, that, that you know, the Navy – Nothing wrong with the Navy. Nothing wrong with any of our uh, branches, to be honest with you. But I think Ross made a good point earlier. He said that the uh, Air Force will give you more uh, training for jobs uh, in the rural world when you got out. Um, and that may be true. It may not. But it depends on what kind of job you're looking for, I guess. Um, Stuck says, sorry, J.D., it was a mistake. Uh Robert says, I was thinking I missed something, too. <laughs> it's all right, guys. We'll get him fixed. It's all good. Oh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Derek, uh, who is vastly becoming a member of the family here, um, has sent. Okay, so I want to cover his name up, his last name. I can't cover your last name, so I'm not going to show it, but it's 20, 20 Canadian dollars. It's 20 Canadian dollars. Hey, it doesn't look like the rest. Like I would have to put my finger here and here and all that stuff. Um, but, you know, let me try. I don't think I can get it close enough for you guys to see it, but it's, uh, it's 20, 20 Canadian dollars. Thank you very much, Derek. Uh, and his note says, for the cause, brother, I appreciate it very much. Appreciate it very much. Um, I just heard another beat, too. What was that? That That's probably Jim's max, because that was $25. Let, let's see. Um, yes, indeed. There is, there is my man's uh, match right there. Mr. Jim. Mr. Jim, five more. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Um, thank you for always doing stuff like this. It always helps the channel. Um, let's see. Gilmore Heights says, my ex-girlfriend used to put me in the doghouse. It's like being in timeout. <laughs> yeah, the doghouse is not much fun. Cody says, I've gotten to travel uh, the southern U.S. in my 20s. It's okay, but I was working, so enjoying it there wasn't uh, much time. The allure of Southeast Asia has its grip on me and has a while. The allure of Southeast Asia and traveling Southeast Asia had got its grip on me too um, because of the low cost of living. So I think uh, traveling Southeast Asia would be a great experience for you, Cody. I think it would be really good. Uh, yep, I got the next five, Jim. Uh, Gomer Hype says, yeah, Thailand is the place to go. I agree. As far as the Southeast Asian countries go, I think Thailand is just unique um, in every facet of what they do. Um, Cody says, and every Asian I've ever met here are very unique, smart, high, highly well-mannered people. So it makes me want to go there. That's a good point. Um, Roger says, I would do better uh, dental health care. So would I, man. So would I. That's not, that's a, that's a real thing. I would have taken care of my teeth. I would have taken care of um, uh, my overall physical health much, much better. Um, I would, as, a, as a young man, I would have worked out every day. Um, I would have played more sports in high school uh, and perhaps in college. I don't know. Um, Jim says, Jeremy, I think these guys want to make me pay tonight. LOL. I, hey, if you're paying, uh, the channel is making money, and that is a very, very good thing, especially in the times we're in right now. It's a very, very good thing. Um, I like your $5 challenge, to be honest with you. Um, I don't ever ask for money, but uh, you guys just seem to come up with a way to make, make it happen for the channel, and I really appreciate it. 
Uh, Stuck says, I love Thailand, still rough around the edges, but uh, all the modern conveniences, right on point, right on point. Um, Ball says, you need to like hot weather in Southeast Asia other than it's awesome. That's true. That's true. Um, There are certain parts of Southeast Asia that are not quite as hot, but um, it's pretty good. Go more high says I have good news to report. Oh, uh, I got my first good mask from Wish today. The good kind, awesome man, good. Uh, Ross says JC, wait until you go to Cambodia or Laos. Talk to me about that, Ross. Make a comment. What's uh, what's the big surprise behind both of them? I'm I'm curious for conversational purposes. Um, go more. Oh, you got your mask. That's awesome, dude. I'm so glad you got your mask. Um. Cause I got mine too. <laughs> uh, let's see. And I got another order coming in maybe May. Oh man. Uh, there's Dave. Hey, how's it going JC? Going great. Hope you're having a good day, Dave. Uh, Cody says I played up to a year back baseball and I don't know what that word is. I realized I was never going to be a pro there and went to work. <laughs> I understand. Uh, all right, stuck. Take your time. Uh, Jim says, "All joking aside, I'm glad that the Do More Life family is coming through for the channel tonight, keeping them coming in, and I will keep the five dollar contributions coming. Uh, let's keep doing more life in 2020. Absolutely. Hello, BB. And there is a uh, Mad Max." Hi guys, down beach before I go back to work Sunday. Take care. I'm keeping in touch. Cheers. Awesome, man. Uh, glad you're still doing good, Max. Um, Ross says Cambodia is amazing and so different than Thailand. Uh, I'm going to have to try Cambodia. Lao is like going back in time. Ooh, uh, that sounds interesting. I, I, I assume you mean like uh, the modern conveniences of daily life is not going to be there. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's good to see Max. Uh, Cody said Sam Houston State University. Oh, I got you. Okay, I see what you're saying now. Let me take my last swallow of the green juice. There is Robert Mack. Hello, Robert Mack. Uh, good evening to you, sir. Jim's got a $5 challenge out. Um, just letting you know, uh, because I thought I'd catch you up. You're a regular in the chat. Might as well tell you what's going on. And uh, are we talking about things we could have changed in our past and if we would even want to? Uh, keeping up with health with green juices? Uh, I'm trying, uh, Dave trying uh it's not necessarily it it turns green there are many things in there it's not just green uh ding 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 that's a hint guys i want to hear the paypal bell ring <laughs> that rhymes good for you jim um yeah so uh keeping up with help with green juice is about the best i can do right now uh, Roger says, oh, I have a good one. I would have moved to Nashville and pursued a songwriting career. That's awesome, Roger. That's awesome. Um, and the ultimate, so the ultimate, ultimately at the end of that thing, um, oh, Robert says he doesn't have PayPal. Okay. Uh, ultimately at the end of that thing, uh, or at the end of this, this conversation, I want people to realize what they've written. And then I want them to see if they can still do it. And if the answer is yes, then I want you to do it. That's the whole purpose in this uh, live stream, the whole purpose. Uh, Ross says, I have told you offline how much I love Cambodia. Yes, you have. Uh, different food, culture, and they use USD, so no currency loss. Uh, Lao is still developing. Running water, concrete roads are not everywhere. Hmm, sounds like the Philippines. So... I'm actually work with a guy. I'm getting some else to drink, guys. But I actually work with a guy that um, went to work teaching English in Lao, and he did not like it at all. He was not a fan of Lao teaching. Um, I believe Dave is the guy that talks to me about staying healthy, drinking green juice. And right behind my green juice 
my commitment to help requires Coca-Cola. <laughs> um, let's see here. Ooh, well, BLWK. Why do majority of Americans don't travel abroad? 90% don't have passports. Great question, bro. Great question. I can't answer that. Um, I'd have to think about that one for a while. Uh, I'm sure some other people will come up with some answers for you, but I personally can't answer that. It doesn't make any sense. And you're right. Most of them don't even have a passport. Uh, Ball says, Ross, Cambodia or Vietnam for a couple of weeks. Um, Gilmore High says, Cody, ever been to Guadalupe Mountains National Park? Uh, Jim says, hey, Robert, it is very easy to set up. It only takes a couple of minutes. All you have to do is link your debit card or credit card uh, to your new PayPal account. If you have an email, uh, you can set it up in. So there you go. Bill Thoreau says, wow, do it uh, is a great, uh, simple, powerful statement. Yeah, do it. Do it is. Um, this is do more life. And this is why we talk about doing more life. Um that's that's pretty much it. Um, Dave says, yay, Coke, <laughs> Coke it is. <laughs> um, Philthos is talking to Mr. UK, says, I think two reasons Americans don't travel are fear of foreign laws and cultures and uh, the shorter vacations available. You may be on to something there, uh, Philthos. You very well may be on to something there um, because that is two very good reasons that I could see as an American uh, that I wouldn't travel. Um, one, the vacations are shorter than they are in most countries. That's very true. And fear of foreign laws and cultures because we have so many freedoms and so many rights uh, in America that other countries just simply don't have. So... Um, that would be a very good answer to the question that was asked, Phil Thos. I appreciate that. Uh, Jim, thank you for throwing up the PayPal link there. And uh, if you want to contribute, um, you don't even need a PayPal um, to contribute. All you need to do is uh, click that link. Cody says, I'll do it once my youngest is 18 and she is okay to hit the world on her own, which is six years. Then you got six years of planning and budget. Uh, budget minding, uh, uh, six years or to, to save money, six years to invest some money, six years to put back some stuff so you'll always be okay, six years to check on your health insurance, um, what you're going to need. That's a lot of time to do a lot of good stuff, Cody, and I'm very proud to hear you say that. Um, we got... Whoa... Jim has Jim has sent another uh, five bucks, and he's want, he's he wants people. He says for every five for every five people that sends five dollars, he'll he'll match it with another five dollars. And his note is, "Come on, guys, I can't do it by myself, but here's another five just for the hell of it." <laughs> Thank you, Jim. I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate that very much. Um, let's see. Uh, Dave says, well, Cambodia is quite interesting in winters. <laughs> I'm assuming that's a joke. Uh, stuck in Florida. Oh, wait. Gilmore Heights said, UK, the cost of air travel is immense uh, for overseas. That's true. Uh, the euro and pound sterling to US dollar exchange rate is not great. That's also true. So, that may be one reason that Americans don't travel to Europe as much. Um, Stuck says most Americans idea of traveling abroad is taking a cruise. That's true. That's true. That was my very first one. Oh, wow. Nice paper coming in here. Um, I wait till it comes up on my email. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Ball. I'll cover up your first name so people can't see it, but there is a $20, uh, $20 PayPal. And Jim sent, Jim's already sent five uh, for that one because we had five more on top of that one, I think. Yeah, we did with the, uh, I, I got lost there for a minute. Jim, I hope you're keeping up with the numbers. <laughs> 
Um, and let me scroll back up there. Hey, the crow. Uh, I see you down there at the bottom. I'll get to you in just a few minutes, bro. I got to catch up on the uh, uh, comments up here. Uh, let's see. Gilmore Hack says, and BOW Thailand is so far away. That's a major undertaking. Yeah, it is. It really is. Ross says, I think Americans do not want to be in a country where they don't speak English. That is also a very good point. It's a, just like when we come over here to Thailand or Vietnam or whatever, the locals don't want to speak their, um, they don't want to speak English to us because they're embarrassed, even though they shouldn't be. Um, the same applies to us. We don't want to go to other countries and speak the language um, because we're embarrassed. However, the, b both roles work the same way. If somebody comes to America, uh, let's say they come from Thailand or from Vietnam or something, and they come over here and they try to speak um, English to me, but it's very broken and that kind of thing, I'm going to want to help them. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to make fun of them or laugh at them or do anything like that. That's insane. Um, I'm going to try to help them and get, you know, and, and help them with their wording and that kind of thing. Oftentimes you'll find when you come to Thailand or any other country for that matter, if you just try and know a few basic words, they'll help you out and there's nothing to be embarrassed about. But we get that confused. Um, and a lot of people don't know that. Um, but it's a, that's an excellent point, uh, Ross. Cody says, until then, one to two trips a year to make sure it's for me. Uh, saying it and doing it are different things. That's 100%. Yeah, 100% correct. That's what I did before I moved to the Philippines. I went to make sure I could do it. Gomer Hyde says, we barely get two weeks of vacation a year with some exceptions. That's a good point. Very good point. Americans do not get a lot of vacation time. Um, Cody says, Ross, I actually find it's strange how well they speak English in the fields. Yeah, they speak good English in the fields in most places. Uh, they do. Uh, Robert says, Jim Pell, when my nephew comes by, I will have him help. <laughs> okay. Um, Filtho says, definitely agree with Ross, too. Uh, I like languages and see it as a great opportunity to learn at least a little Thai. Most Americans just want the world to cater to us and be grateful for the chance. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm behind that statement. Uh, Jim says, yeah, anything I can do to help you out, Robert, let me know. Good more hype. Rob Mack in the house. Rob Mack is in the house. Ross says, for many to travel, it's fear, lack of money, lack of time, or lack of opportunity. I agree with all that, and I'm going to add one more uh, lack of to it, and that is lack of effort. Um, because if you really want to travel, it takes some effort. You got a game plan. I mean, you know. Uh, you really have to have a good game plan, a good solid uh, game plan uh, financially, uh, itinerary. Um, you know, you got to do your research on where you're going. And it the lucky, the, the lucky, the good thing about uh, as the world exists today is you can do all that research um, with very minimal effort because we have things like. Um, Sorry, guys, I got to send one message real quick. But we have um, the same thing. Hang on. Okay. Um, lack of effort. Uh, there, We have the internet. We have YouTube. We have um, other things that we can use to go um, to, to get us to where we need to go uh, with the minimal amount of effort. So the effort thing should be coming to like a close, right? Um, but I agree with all your lacks there, uh, Ross. And the peop what people don't realize is the lack of money. If you're an American and you save, you know, just a reasonable amount of money, you can take a good vacation in Southeast Asia because of the exchange rates. Um, you would really be surprised. You just have to come over here and not be expecting to live like a king. I mean, just live your average life. Get a, you know, a twenty dollar a night uh, hotel or a Airbnb or something for a week or two weeks, 
Um, I recommend a month if you can, but um, and enjoy yourself. Then have plenty of money to spend. Make sure you got money backed up to spend, and uh, you should be fine, man. Uh, the crew. Hey, Jeremy, how are you? Hope you're well. And everyone, uh, how's the restrictions in bank? Out? We're really not talking about that topic, but because you didn't, because you just came on here, I'll let you know that um, uh, in Bangkok, the only restrictions we currently have are a ban on alcohol and then the national curfew from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. So um, that that's really all we got there. Uh, but thanks for coming by the chat. I appreciate it very much. Um, Robert says, Jim Pell, thank you. Uh, BLW says, thanks all for answering my questions. You are more than welcome. That's what we do here. Um, Filtho says, there's some lack of imagination here, too. I live in uh, Philly. We all hate it here, but most never leave or go far away when they do. Um that is very, very, very true. And that, you know, that's that's true in uh, most parts of America. It's not just true in, in Philly. I mean, I'm sure it is true in Philly, but it's not just Philly. There's like a lot of countries that um, or there's a lot of places in America where people feel the same way. Um, Tim says, no, I don't know what he means by that. Um Ball says Europeans are used to uh, close places and other languages. We are not. That's a good point. That's a very good point. Uh, Philly in the house. Jim says, no problem, Robert. Anything you need, we're going to have a great night. Dave said, I had been to Vietnam, and oh boy, a $10 spa was damn exciting with um, com complimentary pedicure and head massage. I'm telling you, man, uh, some of the – the and they're cheap. Like, you go around here, you can get, a uh, like, a professional massage, right, um, for 200 or 300 baht. So that's uh, – or 250 baht, uh, 300 baht. You know, you're talking $10 or less um, to get stuff like that. If you go in America, uh, your basic Swedish massage is going to cost – what 80 bucks at the minimum i mean it's uh it's a big difference and the cost of living is a big deal uh hike says new zealand in the house uh cody says i've worked summer jobs as a kid with hispanics that couldn't speak english you can still communicate that's true um jim says brb um uh, <laughs> hike speaking spanish <laughs> Uh, Hike says there is no try, there is do or do not, and that's a quote from Yoda. Um, I would agree. I would agree. Uh, sometimes, yeah, you've heard of the statement, uh, fake it till you make it. Sometimes that works. I mean, sometimes it works. Um, you have to, when I say fake it till you make it, I mean, like, uh, you have to convince yourself that you're just going to do whatever needs to be done. Um, I give an example, best example I can give you. Um, when I went into my uh change of life status, right? Um, I didn't really want to change my life, but I knew I had to, or I was going to be in bad shape. So, um, I just kind of went, I did what other people told me, and I didn't ask questions because I knew I didn't have the answers. So, I just kind of faked it until I made it, until it became routine. And when it became routine and a part of my life, that's when I was like, hmm, this thing works. Uh, John H. says, at Philthos, you might not like your living situation, but plenty of people in Philly do. Um, I would imagine that to be a uh, true statement. Uh, Stuck says, as Americans, we were always told how wonderful America was and how horrible every other country was. Uh, back in the day, that's true. Um, fortunately, now you have Americans that hate America and you have people that come to America um, to tell to, and become uh, part of the, I guess, part of the system to tell America how bad America is. Yet they are the ones that came to America. <laughs> 
It's uh, hilarious. Uh, UK says, Jeremy, what made you decide to leave the U.S. abroad and travel? Thanks. A um, couple things. One, one was the cost of living. Two was... Um, I, I went on a study abroad trip when I was in my sophomore year of college and, or sophomore. Yeah. Sophomore year of college. I went to Peru and I saw Machu Picchu and I saw all these great ruins that they have. I went up, I, I saw the actual real sundial there. Um, I saw a bunch of stuff that was really cool and it just, the travel bug bit me. And I knew I was going to have to travel abroad and I didn't want to go back home uh, to America because the cost of living is so high. And I didn't know what, even though I have a bachelor's degree and now I've got a couple of different certificate uh, certifications, I didn't know what kind of job I could get. I didn't know how much insurance would cost. I mean, the insurance I have here is unbelievable and it costs uh, just a little over a thousand bucks. So, and then that's zero deductible, full coverage, everything. So, um, you can't find that in the United States uh, that I'm aware of. So, those are all factors in why I wanted to travel. But mainly, I, I just wanted to get out of the American, uh, the sweep that was coming through America at that time, if you know what I mean. And um, that wasn't a Dean guy, sorry. Um, but yeah, those are all reasons. And Gomer High says that's a big question. Yeah, it is. I'm just trying to kind of hit on just a few things. Uh, Ross says the more travel vloggers you watch, the more you will want to travel. Absolutely true. Uh, Robert's asking Jim if he uses a PO box. Um, let's see, where was I here? Uh, Hype says more money, more problems. Um, I don't think that is the case for me. I see Zap down there. Welcome, Zap. How are you this morning, sir? Or ma'am, whoever you are. Um, I've never met him. Uh, let's see. Okay, there's there we are. Your more height says more money, more problems. Your thoughts? Absolutely not. Uh, if you have excessive money that you don't know how to handle. Um, then you're going to have problems. Uh, understanding how to budget your money and how to spend it properly on things that you need and live within your means. Don't go outside of it. And I've learned this uh, from one of the few expats. You know, yesterday's video was about expats. And I've learned this from one of the expats uh, that I've uh, befriended has really taught me a lot about saving money and uh uh, what to do with your money and some ideas on uh, what I can do with limited money. Um, that's pretty cool. The crow says, oh, sorry. Thank it's no problem, man. It's no problem at all. No problem. Cody and says most of us were taught, get an education, go to work, have a family, retire at 62, then go fishing. That's so true. Uh, but then our life takes different courses and we start wondering how we can change. Most can't. That's absolutely correct. Because change happens over the, the reason people have such a problem with changing is because change happens over time, not overnight. To actually change something about yourself, you have to get in a new routine and it's always uncomfortable and it's outside of your box or your comfort zone and it doesn't feel good. But when it starts to feel good and you know it's a change for the positive, then you'll never go back. You'll never go back. Um, go more hikes. Uh, Ross says, Go more I disagree. More money, the more other people's problems pop up. <laughs> That's very true, Ross. <laughs> um, Ball says, An old man told me, Don't live your life for other people's expectations, live it for yours. I'm worked on that. That's a very, very good one because it's all about self awareness. Like when people say, Uh, to me, well, like, mom family has told me before, well, if you didn't want to go to, off to Thailand and live over there, you wouldn't have these kind of problems. And I'm like, I would have way more problems if I was in America, way more problems. Um, you know, so uh, 
I live for me. It's just like I said about YouTube. And a lot of YouTubers get in. Um, they get into this back and forth with each other on YouTube, and um, or they try to compete with each other on YouTube, and that's stupid because you're not competing with anyone but yourself. I mean, you're just not. And in situations where we're not competing with anyone but ourselves, and when we do not um, compare ourselves to others, so what if somebody got um, better grades than you in, in school? So what if somebody's got a PhD and you have a bachelor's? So what if um, somebody gets 10,000 subscribers in five days and you know, you've know you been working on your YouTube channel for uh, five years and have uh, 8,000 subscribers? Who cares? You're doing you. That That's what matters. John says, he agrees with Cody. Uh, Dave says, hey, JC, any opinions about trading? I see business laws are complicated there, but if I'm on a business visa, maybe I can still trade legally, probably drop shipping since Cosmatch got. You really want to contact a professional, uh, like an attorney on that one, because you, you the business visa is just for you to try to find work and for you to be employed uh, when you do find work. But to actually work in this country, you need a work permit and a non-B visa. So um, there's, and those are two different departments with two different sets of requirements. Um, Lucille says, travel the U.S. for 40 years, ready for something else. Good for you, Lucille. Um, yeah, definitely get out of the U.S. Come come around and um, travel Southeast Asia, travel South America. Um, be careful in Central America. <laughs> uh, so you know, just 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 go, just do your thing. Um, UK says sorry, off topic. How's Stevo nowadays? I'm not sure. I haven't talked to him in a while. That's a very good question. I meant to call him the other day. Um, But what I want you guys to do and see is that it's extraordinarily important. Uh, for those of you just joining the stream, I will read the numbers again. There are two separate uh, studies here. The first one came off a website, and it basically said 53% of people, this is from people in like nursing homes and very old people, elderly people that are just not going to, you know, that they don't have a chance anymore. To do anything different with their life. So, um, 53% of them said they would do something different. Um, and then they had another study um, where 18% of the people said they would do nothing different, uh, which is more likely uh, because people always have regrets, unfortunately. Um, out of those people, 98%, 98% said they would travel more. 99% said they would spend less time trying to make more money than they need. 100% of the people that were asked said they would have worked less hours. And 71% started their own or would have started their own business. Because you're either, if you're working, you're either building your dream or you're building somebody else's point blank period. That's all there is to it. And like me, I go to work. Um, sorry, messed up my fan. I go to work here in Thailand and I'm helping build somebody else's dream, you know, but it's what I have to do right now until I figure out how to get this channel uh, to financially sustain me um, so that I can travel at, with that, with no hesitation. Um, I'll be working and that's just the way it is. Um, the, 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 the stuck in Florida says I traveled the USA working construction. My first trip to Mexico in 1983, I was hooked on traveling. I bet. So, uh, actually the first place I went out of the United States was to Mexico as well. It was, a, or the Cayman islands, uh, was my first trip. And then we docked in Cozumel, Mexico. So, uh, that was back in 2000. And that was just a trip me and my dad took. Um, hook, hook, stuck says he was hooked on traveling outside the USA. 
I can imagine. Cody says, I'm tempted to see how much I'm worth in ransom in Central America. <laughs> I, I wouldn't get I wouldn't uh, test those waters if I were you. Be accountable. What's up, man? Uh, says hello, JC. I'm happy to see you again today. Happy to see you too, bro. Thanks for coming in. Uh, Cody says joking. No, I'm not. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's funny though. Uh, Cody says Central South America. I mean, ah, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Uh, ooh, what did I just do? Hang on, guys. I got the comments all messed up over here. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, there we go. Okay, so, so um, Hike says, Cody, you see Proof of Life starring Russell Crowe and Meg Ryan? That's a very good uh, movie, by the way. Uh, Filtho says the difference between living to work and working to live. Yes, that is a very, very, very big difference. Um, a tough choice sometimes. I agree. Um, I don't live to work. I work to live. And uh, hopefully my work will carry me um, out of a nine to five job at some point in my life. That's that's my goal. That's my goal. Um, Ball says it. it's the grass is greener theory. Uh, looking at money works from both sides of the fence. I know this from both sides. Absolutely. And I, I've told this story before, but um, I had a, when I was uh, a, a sales manager at a car dealership, um, my general man, not general manager, but the sales manager himself, uh, a lot of the salesmen were leaving and they were going to another dealership across town, which was um, they were they were paying a higher percentage to the salesman. Um, and so he all called us together and said, look, if you want to go, that's fine. Uh, and he, he was talking to everybody. It's not 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 uh, like a one on one thing with me. He said, if you guys want to go, that's fine. He says the grass always looks greener on the other side. But just remember if the grass you're standing on gets watered and fertilized correctly, gets the right amount of sunlight, and you pay it uh, the correct amount of attention, do what's necessary on the grass you're standing on, it'll get green too, and it'll it'll grow fast. And um, I've never forgotten that because that's why I don't always like if I'm looking for jobs or something like that, just because something says uh, you know sixty thousand by a year or whatever, I'm not. I, I don't automatically send out a resume to them because you have to look at the fine details. What's the job going to entail? Um, it's one of those things. Hey, Aubrey, I'll come back to you. Um, but thanks for joining the chat. I want to make sure I answer these questions. Dave says, let's catch up if opportunity permits. I'm possibly going to be in Bangkok in the month of August. We'll be traveling across Thailand for three uh, nights. Okay. Sounds good. Um, if I'm available, shouldn't be a problem. But when work starts back on Monday, it's it's hard to get me, man. It's hard to get me. But if I can, uh, if I can make it happen, I certainly will. Uh, Cody says, "Hi, proof of life is downstairs." Yep, <laughs> that's funny. Hi uh, says, "Got any recommendations for me?" Um, oh, he's talking to Roger. Cody says, apparently an engineer is worth about 500K. Uh, Cody in Texas says, hike, watch the beach. Uh, that's pie without the ocean, in my opinion. <laughs> um, and there was Aubrey and Gilmore Hike uh, says, the beach depresses me. Sad ending. Me too, man. 10 minutes. Uh, what would I change? Hey, by, by the way, this was inspired by your uh, time machine thing, this uh, live chat. Um, uh, that we're having right now. He says, what would I change? Not marrying my ex. I would have more hair and much more money <laughs> in the bank. <laughs> we all pay for it one way or another. It works out as it should. <laughs> I like that. Very good, man. Uh, Roger says, box of moonlight. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Um, 
BLW says, answering the main question to the topic, I would change careers instead of construction management. I would work in IT. Plenty of opportunities uh, working remotely abroad, freelance, less hours. 100% agree. 100% agree. And um, kind of like to do the same thing myself. Um, and uh, 10 minutes says, no kidding. Uh, Jim says, okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, have we had any dings? Nope, no dings. Uh, you left and the dings went away. Uh, Jeremy, do I need to send? Uh, if not, come on, guys, dig in. Make this a great night for the channel. We're all here, so that's a great night. Um, Jim put out a $5 challenge, so he said for every $5 that was made, we're only $5 away, Jim, um, because... Uh, Ball sent a $20 uh, PayPal. I don't know if you saw that or not. So we're $5 away. Um, and then Jim will match that. For, so for every $25 we get, Jim will match that with five. Um, Dave says, been to Ketchanbury. Uh, Ketchanbury. I, I don't know what's that. I know where you're talking about. Yes, I've been there. Um, and it's beautiful. Uh Irwin Falls. I don't know if I saw that or not. I can't remember. Um, Filtho says, on topic for once, I changed my relationship with my body, exercise as much as my mind. Same here. I mentioned that earlier in the stream. I would absolutely do the same thing, man. Uh, Jim says, so let's just make it a little bit greater by digging in our pockets. Come on, guys. We can do it. And then he threw the PayPal link up. Jim, Jim's serious about uh, the channel. Make it... Uh, getting some contributions tonight. <laughs> uh, Ball says, as you get older, time becomes more valuable than money. When you're young, it's the opposite. I understand that. And um, that's one reason I'm glad that you guys do these challenges in the, um, in the live chat and uh, on my, uh, for my channel, because uh, frankly, without the contributions, um, I wouldn't be able to do live streams like I do. I wouldn't be able to travel, uh, like I, like I do. And I can't travel that much anyway, because I work. And when I don't work like right now, um, it's because the, the you know, countries on some type of, some type of lockdown, uh, places are on some type of lockdown and it's like, you know, hard to get out and travel, that kind of thing. So it is what it is. That's my opinion. Um, but I do appreciate tremendously everybody that's contributed tonight and, uh, or today. And, uh, maybe we get some more before the end. I don't know. Um, to your point, Bob, I agree with that a hundred percent. Um, my time is worth so much more than money. Um, and when I was young, uh, all I cared about was making money, so I can I, I can agree with that. Ten minutes agrees uh, as well. Uh, good night, John. Take care, John H. Uh, appreciate you coming in, man. And we will see you on the next one. I'm probably going to do a stream yard tomorrow, and then after that, uh, be back to work on Monday. So uh, probably start seeing some videos come in after that happens. But um, Past regrets, um, I regret a lot of things that I did, but it's uh, it's like walking a balancing line, right? So would you go back and change some of the bad stuff you did um, in your – yes, I, you can. Would you go back and change some of the bad stuff you did um, in your life if you could do it over? Um, or would you say, hey – that was a tremendous learning expectation for me uh, or tremendous learning uh, opportunity for me. Uh, so I'm going to continue. Um, I wouldn't change that because it taught me something, even though it hurt. Um, that's kind of how I feel about most things, but not all the time. Jim says not to say that we're not having a good chat tonight. But I just wanted to say again how great it was last night. That was an awesome 
subject great chat great night yeah we had a good we had a really good chat yeah uh yesterday and i thought it was wonderful um i agree with you jim i thought it was a good one cody said 2019 20 uh 20 school year was completely shut down here now hope they go back in september that would be good that definitely would be good 10 minutes says i wouldn't change the bad things i never got caught <laughs> they well, if you never got caught, then there you go. Um, Ike says, today I released a new nature video, a short nature walk. I think it's pretty good. We'll have to check that out, Gilmore Ike. Uh, Stuck says, no, Gilmore Ike. You can't mention you have a channel called Gilmore Ike. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Yes, he does have a channel, and it's a very good channel. Uh, very good place to go over and get some relaxing content. Uh, there is definitely no kind of uh, drama on his channel for sure. Cody says, I would also go back and not push away the people who were good for me. That, that's a big one for me too, bro. I would have done the same thing. I lost more good friends than I, and I didn't realize it until like years later. Um, it was just, it was a mess, man. It was a mess. Uh, Roger says, I would have kept my mouth shut on a couple of occasions, mainly when I may have hurt someone's feelings. I remember those. Same here. There are many times I would have kept my mouth shut. They would have kept me out of a lot of trouble, uh, period. Um, Hike says, be sure, like, subscribe, leave comment down below. <laughs> He's talking about it on his channel. Darius C says, money cannot buy happiness, but it can make misery a lot more comfy to live in, I guess. I agree with you 100%. Ross and I have had that conversation before about how uh, money is not going to make you happy, but it does make uh, it does make your life less stressful as long as you live within your means and use that money to, you know, save, save, save. Then you're not worried about if something, you know, bad happens or something like that. Um, I agree. I agree 100 percent. Hike says my videos will put you right to sleep. That's <laughs> true. Dave says, hey JC, do you plan to do a cam setup uh video? I don't know what you mean by that. If you mean like just just making regular videos like regular YouTubers, um, there's about six hundred of those videos on this channel. Um and as soon as I go back to work and everybody else goes back to work, absolutely. The only reason I've been doing these live streams so much is because everybody's at home with nothing to do. And it's been a good time uh, to talk to people and to do a live stream. Um, uh, so I, I'm not sure if that's what you meant, but there's I, I looked this morning. There's 646 uh, videos in total on this channel. I think about 100 and 180 are live streams. So you still got roughly, you know, Four, 450 uh, videos on this uh, on this channel that you can go watch that are just videos, short videos. Um, Cody says, I was told by an old friend the other day you guys always went for the easiest way. Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. Jim says, well, Jeremy, I do it because I know you personally will not ask for anything, and I definitely want to see this channel prosper. Thank you, Jim. I actually watched the video on... Uh, why channels around um, YouTube are kind of suffering right now. And I think I know uh, what I'm kind of doing wrong. And uh, we're going to, uh, I'm going to fix that. I'm going to fix that. And you guys are going to help me uh, indirectly because that's what you do. Um, UK says marriage life versus single life. Um, I've never been married. Uh, I've been in a few long-term relationships, but nothing super long-term. Um, I'm tired of single life, so it would be nice to have a, um, um, it would be nice to have a regular partner, uh, for me. Uh, Gilmore Hike says, yeah, all kinds of celebrities are doing live streams now. That's true, uh, because of the social distancing. Uh, Filto says an old saying on money goes like income 20 pounds, expenses 19 pounds equals bliss. Income 20 pounds, expenses 21 pounds equals misery. That's 100% correct. 100% correct. Um, 
I, that's a good saying, man. Real good saying. Ball says uh, more money equals more bills, liabilities, and more expected responsibilities. I'm 50-50. Yes, that can be true, but it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to do it. Just because you make more money doesn't mean you have to live in a bigger house or buy a nicer car or um, go on more extravagant vacations. Like You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. So, um, to but to most Americans, they're so worried about keeping up with the Joneses. Um, if they make more money, they want to show that they make more money. Uh, Cody says L and D has her sound guy cleaning her windows while she streams from her living room because she isn't going to pay him to do nothing. I, that's funny. Uh, Dave said, "Nah, I'm. I mean, which gear do you prefer to shoot your videos? Oh, as in lens mic, GoPros." Um, I do these on my webcam on the computer. Um, DJI uh, Osmo uh, Pocket, I record some on. I have an Olympus uh, uh, EMD5 Mark II, the older version, that I do some shooting on. I have a Canon M50 that's mostly good for just pictures. It's really not good for uh, video. I used to have the full setup for video, but, um, I, you know, I made mistakes and, uh, that's kind of what this whole thing's about is, um, making the mistakes and learning how to live with them. Um, so, uh, I'm looking to buy, uh, at some point the new Olympus, uh, OMD EM, uh, The Mark III, the the newest uh, um, Mark III. I don't know why I can't think of the name of it right now, but it's the newest camera that they put out, and then that camera should last me for a good three to four years. Um, Jim says, "Remember, guys, go share your favorite videos on all your social media. We need to go on a subscription drive. We need to get thirty thousand. I agree. I agree. I'd love to see thirty thousand subs on here." And um, I'm going to do everything on the back end to make that happen. Also, channel membership is going to be coming up sometime soon. Um, there's still some work I need to do on that. And we'll see what happens um, when all that stuff uh, kind of pans itself out. But uh, we've been going about an hour 20. We've had a good day. Uh, Jim, I want to thank you for starting the, uh, the uh, PayPal drive. That was very nice of you. And for those of you who contributed, I truly, from the bottom of my heart, uh, appreciate, uh, I appreciate the hell out of it because um, hard-earned money right now is hard to come by. And I thank you guys so much for um, uh, coming out of your pocket like that. Uh, let me know you value the content, value the channel, and uh, super, super appreciated. Um, also, anybody that showed up in the chat that um, wanted to uh, just make a comment, give me something to talk about, um, that's what I'm here for. That's what the stream's here for. Uh, the streams are here for both both of us, both you and me. And um, I'm really pleased that you guys um, were uh, nice enough to stay around uh, for the entirety of the stream, most of you. Uh, Stuck says I would change leaving my 14 month old laptop on the hood of my truck during a downpour last year. <laughs> I hear you. Uh, that's probably a good thing to change. But the ultimate, the ultimate thing I wanted you guys to get out of this was these things that you regret. Oh, and I do have a GoPro, by the way, Dave. I have a uh, Hero Seven Black, I think. Um, but uh. I, the things that you mentioned, can you still do them? Uh, or do you have to, or are you too old? I don't think any of you are. Um, there's still a way, there's still hope, and uh, there's a good message. Um, Hype said, Tina Turner once said, what's love got to do with it? <laughs> Uh, Dave says, wish you good luck with finding a steady partner. Thank you, man. Thank you. I really appreciate that. And, you know, the problem is not finding uh, women to date here in Asia. That's that's not a problem. The problem is finding somebody that's um, 
that understands me, that understands what I want to do with my life and where I want it to go. That's, that's the, um, um, that's kind of the thing. So we're going to hope for the best, uh, expect the worst and use high level of acceptance and very low expectations because it's better to be surprised than disappointed. Um, Bruce Willis broke the bodyguards code for us. I mean, look, <laughs> it's very true, Cody. Very true. So, um, if you are watching now, or if you're watching on replay, um, you don't. We don't have to be live for uh, you to contribute. Uh, if you want to contribute to the channel, you can do that anytime. I'll thank you for it. Also, have a Teespring store. You're welcome to go to. It's uh, just Teespring slash Do More Life, and uh, or Teespring slash shop do more life. I can't remember. It's in the description of the video below. Uh, there's a lot of merchandise over there you can pick up. Um, of course, it helps out the channel. Um, Bob says, same, same love is finding someone with similar outlook and values. Exactly. Exactly. I just need them to be uh, compatible. Um, so, uh, with that being said, I guess we'll wrap it up, guys. Um, and I want to thank everybody for coming out. Uh, especially thank those that came out of their pocket with the uh, contributions. Uh, it's big help, really big help. I very, very, very much appreciate it. And um, yeah, Robert seems to be good at, at uh, tech stuff. So uh, you might want to use him there, uh, Stuck. I want to thank all my moderators. You guys are great. You guys have done a fantastic job. I truly appreciate it. And um, I hope you got a lot out of this. Uh, video. If you hadn't hit the thumbs up button, hit it on your way out. And um, remember, this channel is dedicated to travel, fun, photography, and education. I bit my tongue when I said education. Um, finally, um, if you don't do anything else today, guys, be sure, be sure you do more life. I love you all very, very much and uh, see you tomorrow. Peace.